So I want to talk about this relatively new feature that Notability has released in the past couple of weeks, and that is the tape feature. So if you notice all the way at the very top where I'm clicking next to the pen slash pencil, there's this new icon that I guess kind of looks like a ribbon or tape. Uh, it used to just be a highlighter, but now it is going to be a highlighter and a tape function. So you can see that when I click on this icon, if I switch to the highlighter, it switches to a highlighter. And if I click on tape, it switches to tape. So this is really cool. And I'm going to walk you through what this feature is and how you might want to use it yourself. So pretend that you have a list of things that you need to study like I have here. So I just made this random list of words here. And what you can do is, you know, normally you can go around and highlight the important words that you need to remember or that you need to come back to and check on later. And that's, you know, a good way for like passive learning and th that's fine. But what if you want to make a way for yourself to study these words um, in where you don't have to make flashcards, but you still can hide everything on the list and come back to it later to do some active recall. Well, that's exactly what tape does. So let me show you how this works. You click on tape and you can select the size of your tape. For me, I think, you know, a size two based on this list I made is pretty good. So what we can go ahead and do here is you can just basically cover each word, just like you're highlighting. And you can see that puts this band-aid looking thing, which is supposed to be tape, and it covers up the notes that you want it to cover. And now when you're going back and you want to reveal what's there, all you have to do is click on it and you can see what's behind the tape. So this is a really useful way to incorporate um, active recall in your studying if you're making a study guide, or if you're an educator and you want to hide the answers in the lecture, but as you're going through, you want to reveal it because you want your students to work it out first or something. You know, this is a really great way to have an interactive um, sort of use case with whatever kind of notes you're using on Notability. It doesn't just stop there. So you would expect that you can kind of, you know, make this tape feature. It, you can see that it corrects it and makes it into a straight line, like an ink to shape sort of thing. And that holds true for all sorts of shapes. So pretend I have this diagram here, this circle, and it has some squiggles in it that I need to memorize, but I want to cover up the whole circle. What you can do is you can actually draw a circle with the tape function just like you'd expect, and boom, you can cover up the entire diagram that you want. And just like you'd expect with any other sort of shapes that you can use in Notability, you can go ahead and resize this. This way, you have your standard features like duplicate, cut, copy, or delete. So let's make a whole bunch of these little guys here. And so if I had a whole bunch of these different diagrams that I wanted to move around, what I can do is I can just select this tape and move it to where I want to and click on it and it'll show whatever is beneath the tape. And so I think this just illustrates like one of the benefits of having digital note taking as opposed to like taking notes on paper. Because while you would be able to do something similar on like regular paper notes, it's just a lot easier and more intuitive to do it digitally. And it's a lot um, less messy and it just makes for a more seamless experience. So I'll just do one more example. Pretend you have a Venn diagram here and you want to try to cover up like the things written on the sides, but you want to leave what's in the middle. Well, again, you can just go to tape and just kind of draw out around what needs to be covered. It covers it up like that. We can do another ellipse over here, bam. And then there you go. So this is a really innovative feature, like I've mentioned, that Notability has offered. And I'm really impressed by this. I really like the way Notability always releases these unique features that kind of sets it apart from other note-taking apps. If I did have one critique, it would be that I wish you could change the color of the tape and or the pattern of the tape instead of just having this striped blue and, um, and white pattern. Um, I haven't found a way to do that yet. Maybe there is a way to do it on the store or a paid option, um, but if there isn't, I'm sure Notability will offer probably some paid option in the future where you can change the color and the designs of your tapes um, because and unfortunately Notability does like to put a lot of their stuff behind a paywall these days, so I could see them doing that. I don't think that would be a free option, but if they did release a free update to this where you can 
go ahead and change the pattern and the design and the color of of the of the tape i think that would be a really neat addition and just make the notes that much more interactive and allow people to be so much more creative with their note taking or you know teaching that they want to do so overall i think that this tape feature is such a great feature to add for free and notability for people who want to make study guides or if you're an educator and you want to try to make your notes more interactive and easier for you to teach so you don't have to make two separate copies of your notes you can just cover up your answers with uh, with this tape feature I think this just makes it a lot easier for all users of this app but I'm really interested to see what people think you know I think this would generally get really positive feedback but let me know if you think this is a useful feature to have or how you plan on using it in another use case that I may not have covered I'm super interested to know what other people are doing with notability um, because I'm a little bit more separated now from active note taking on a regular basis than I was like a couple of years ago when I was more involved in lectures and stuff. So I'm really interested to know how other people are trying to come up with ways to use this. So let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.